Hey guys, Steve Bates with KPMG with another special edition of CIO Real Insights. In today's video, we're going to discuss some of the key risks to consider prior to cutting or slowing high value, high impact digital transformation programs, and instead use this as an opportunity to accelerate business transformation efforts. COVID-19 is unprecedented in its scale, and it may seem easiest to cut or slow down digital transformation programs in an attempt to preserve capital. However, history shows us that companies that solely focused on cost containment during past disruptions like the dot-com bust, 9-11, or the 2008 financial crisis, later lost ground to companies that took a strategic future-focused investment approach when the global economy rebounded. Today, with 80% of revenue growth hinging on digital offerings and operations over the next three years, IT leaders should continue transforming their operating models and investing in key enablers like integrated cloud, agile, automation, AI, blockchain, and advanced data and analytics. Companies that continue to invest in their digital strategy while balancing short-term efforts with long-term measures will emerge from this pandemic more competitive. We think that there are five lenses to look through when thinking about preserving your hard-won initiatives. Business impact, risk and compliance, financial, cultural, and third party. Let's explore each of these a little, starting with business impact. In our video about prioritizing work, we discussed ranking the importance of your current technology programs that best serve your long-term digital strategy in today's context. Many digital transformations work in an agile way, meaning building and working off a backlog of transformational outcomes. Today's COVID-19 context adds, or at least reprioritizes, the items in the backlog based on their business impact, but it doesn't eliminate them. For example, many digital transformations have customer engagement as a strategic objective. Most organizations quickly realize that employee engagement is a limiting factor to improving customer engagement and that workplace technology is a key enabler for employee engagement. In the overall plan, workplace tech is a backlog item, but it may be a relatively low priority. However, in today's context, getting workplace technology right is a very high priority as organizations struggle to enable remote working. Does this mean the transformation program should be slashed? No. On the contrary, it means that a previously relatively low priority backlog item is now high priority. So the better response is to rework the transformation backlog to deliver the highest business impact outcomes and provide a much needed solution today. For items that are not candidates for pre-prioritization, let's look at some other criteria to consider prior to shutting down a strategic investment. So another lens is risk and compliance. And here it is important to holistically consider the risk implications of the delay or cancellation of programs to regulatory compliance, security, legal, or even audit execution. For example, Many companies have significant investments underway to remediate the increased cyber threat related to operating in a now largely digital environment. Cutting back on the cyber investment while doubling down on front office systems of engagement for customers and employees would significantly increase the risk to the enterprise. The lesson here is think through the architecture of the entire value chain, front, middle, and back office to ensure your transformation initiatives stay risk neutral of what levers you pull. Next, let's take a look at financial considerations. So on the surface, this appears fairly straightforward as many CIOs have a playbook 
to pull on the financial levers of CapEx and OpEx. However, it is critical to consider the direct financial impacts of pulling those levers, such as potential write-offs, interest charges, tax credit implications, invoicing or payable issues, or deferred benefits to income or margin improvements. There are also indirect financial considerations, such as the ramp down and restart costs, contractual penalties, and the future availability of capital timed to the market opportunity. Next, let's look at the cultural lens. The last several years has seen an explosion in IT transformation as companies have focused on rewriting their IT operating models to support the digital era. When I refer to the IT operating model, it's important to include all of the dimensions – process, technology, governance, people, the service delivery model, performance, insights, and data. A real risk for many companies will be reverting back to the old ways of working in an attempt to avoid the cost of change. There will be significant impacts across the operating model, in particular to organizational structure, organizational change management, governance, and service delivery if you end up reverting back to the legacy operating model. What are the ways of working and capabilities both IT and the business must have to emerge more competitively? Efforts like scaling Agile, DevOps, experience and product management, virtual collaboration, and lean funding are all essential to helping the business accelerate quickly through the recovery. Finally is third-party considerations. COVID-19 is having a profound impact on many companies' third-party technology ecosystems. So when reviewing your transformation programs, take the time to understand if canceling or delaying those programs will have third-party consequences. Your partner relationships have never been more important than right now. So carefully consider contractual and relationship impacts of canceling programs. The loss of vendor subject matter experts from your environment and settling any disputes or open issues and ensuring you've protected your intellectual property in the event of a change. While this is a challenging time, most organizations are focusing on recovering and adapting, all powered by major shifts in technology and ways of working. Organizations who continue to invest in the most important enablers to allow them to emerge more competitive are going to thrive in the new reality. We've got a lot more short videos on our COVID-19 CIO Real Insights page, plus more content coming your way on IT funding and cost management, cloud, and adapting your IT operating model. Remember, at any time, if you need help, just click the link on this page and get connected to an expert for more advice and support on your situation. So until next time, thanks for watching and stay healthy.